Hey everybody, alright, so the last two were scams, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse it up a little bit. I'm going to use a different phone uh, for the uh, scammers, okay? So the one number, and just so everybody knows, I am going to do these live right now, and then I got to get back to work. 209, these are, these are scam numbers, okay? 215, and what they do is they're trying to take advantage of older people, alright? And so what I'm trying to do is trying to prevent people from calling these numbers. So the first scam, and they are scams by the way, is 209-215-7894. I have to use a different number because they've got it going now. So I'm going to go ahead and switch the phone around. Oops. Hold on, sorry about that. Hello? Hello. How are you? Yeah, I am fine, sir. How are you doing today? I am doing outstanding. Great, sir. So, right now you are connected with the Geek Squad, Microsoft Mark. So, would you like to continue with the services or want to cancel it? You got a pretty good scam going on there. You know you're live in front of the world and this number's been broadcast everywhere. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. Back. I don't want to have a nice day. Oh, they told me to have a nice day in the nights of them. <laughs> what, because he can't scam somebody? You love it when they can't scam you. Do it again. Hello? No, 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 don't hang up on me. You're trying to scam me and I want to talk to you because I know it. I just want to talk to you to find out why. It's Monday. Come on, man. Give me a chance here to find out why. Huh? Oh, I guess they don't like talking to me. Okay, let's do it again. Here we go. Oh, reset. There we go. There we go. Sorry, the number you called was busy. Please... Wow, okay, so, now that's one of them. Now, what I'm gonna do with this other number, okay? <laughs> now, listen up, everybody. This other number I'm about ready to call, it's a little bit different because it is one of the newer scams, okay? And when I call this number, and yes, these are actual, they will rip you off. If you notice, when I call in, okay? First off, they're gonna ask a bunch of questions. It seems like a real person. It's not, it's a computer, and this is what's getting people, okay? This is how people are getting fooled, okay? So pay attention. I'm going to call in this next number, and the reason why is it comes up on your parents' phone or your phone or something else like that, and people actually think it's real, but it's not, okay? So this number I'm going to call right now, okay, we'll call in, and it looks like legit service, but it's not, okay? And what it is, is if you ask the wrong questions, you will notice that the per person keeps talking, you don't know why. It's a computer, it's made for your quick instincts. So when you ask, it's like, hello, how are you doing? You know, it's made to tell you no. But the truth of the matter is, the number that is coming up, okay, so it is 800-769-3734. Okay, and what's going on here is they're trying to take advantage of people, okay? And the problem is there's not even a human on the other line until you get to a certain point. So we're going to go ahead and call it now. As you can see, here's the number is I'll switch the, the thing around so you guys can hear. All right, here we go. And it'll, it's, it's a computer. It sounds just like human, but it's not. It's a computer. It sounds just like a human, but it's not. It's a computer. This call may be recorded for quality see, assurance. See, it's already going into it. We have a special promotion today for select callers. If you are over 50, please press 1 doing. now. If not, press 2. So this person, it's not even a real person. Thank you for calling the Medical Alert Center. This is Jessica on a recorded line. Can you hear me okay? No, I cannot. Great. So 
So uh, with our promotion today, you Excuse actually me. have the opportunity to receive a free medical alert device. So congratulations. Um, you know, it's that little button you wear around your neck that you press in case of an emergency or um, even a fall. Now, when you're participating in our monitoring program, um, you actually can get your medical alert absolutely free. Wow. So uh, oftentimes it's really expensive to buy a device yep. like this. So um, we make it really simple Thanks, for you. Thanks. We pay for the entire unit itself you know, it and then ship it right like to your house for free. And like then, it, um, of course, we guarantee you one hundred percent peace of mind, twenty four hours a day, seven days a week. So uh, let's go ahead and get you some more info on it, okay? Sure. Yes. Give me more info. For qualification purposes, can you please provide me your age? Seventy nine. Great. So it actually looks like you qualify for our offer today. Um, just please hang on for one second while I connect us with the medical alert specialist. See, these are all fake. Please. Oh, thank you for holding. My name is Rick with Life Protect 24-7. Um, with our promotion today, you've been selected to receive a free medical alert system. So congratulations. Now, uh, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the medical alert no, system, but it's that little button that you wear around your neck that you would press in case of an emergency. Like what what did you say your name was? Uh, I'm sure you've seen. Huh? What did you say your name was? Uh, my name is Rick. Okay. Uh, now, Rick, you let me ask you this question, okay? Are you in the United States? Yes, uh -huh. Yep. And you do know it's illegal to call blocked and do not call numbers, correct? And using uh, a computer to call no. somebody does not qualify uh -huh. as that. You used a freaking automated uh, well, phone okay, call to call. You used an automated well, you know, phone call uh, well, to call. Hold on. Uh, so we, we didn't call you. you. You dialed us. No, 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 no. You don't get it. You did call me and you gave us a, compu a fake computerized lady on the phone who's a computer generated scam. And by doing that, you have broken actually four laws and rules. You know that, correct? And right now, okay. you're on live in front of the world because I'm showing people this scam that's going on because you're calling people, asking okay. their age, knowing they're on a do not call list, and then you call through to people. So right now, you're probably going to get a couple thousand calls coming in of people that do not want to be harassed. They do not want to be called. And by the way, that's not how you get around the do not call list is by breaking other laws. You know that, correct? Sure, sure. Uh-huh. Have a great day. Okay? Hey, you listen. We're going to keep calling all day long until you guys get the point. You shouldn't be calling, okay? Well, and that computer-generated no, no, person no, you got, we know how to get around her. So, everybody, you all see it okay, going on right have, now? Have a good day. Okay, so, everybody, keep calling, day. everybody. Call call him. This guy's just a have freaking a creep, okay. man. He's like probably pedophile okay. or something over there in California. Right, have a good day. Yeah, we, I, well, I'm going to have a great day the longer I keep you on the phone. Okay. So you see how they got through with that. They're basically saying, oh, well, you called us. No, 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 no. That's just it. Wrong. They called us using a computer, okay? So let's call them back in. They think it's okay to call people. Okay, so anyway, since the United States doesn't like doing stuff, we can do stuff about that, okay? So what we will do is we are going to call it again. So it is 800. We're calling it again because that guy is just a creep. 76937. All right, let's call it again, everybody. And what they're going to do is they're going to ask us some more questions. These are fake people, except when you get through. And we're going to put it out there live so you can see that they are all fake. It's going to be a fake person the first time, okay? You have dialed a number that is not available. Oh, so now they got me blocked. Area. Now they got me blocked. Because it's a scam, okay? And the thing about it is, that scam is pretty well, that that's a scam. So, and right now, because I called. Let's see what this one does. Okay, they may, like I said, these are all scams. You have dialed a number that is not available from your calling area. All right, so if you guys call in, eventually they, they can't keep those lines open, okay? And I don't know what else to do because the government doesn't protect us. They say they're going to, but they don't, you know? And so the whole best thing about it is, is to have identity, um, like I'm idguy.org, okay? If you go to that, yes, we can help you out. But, you know, and then they call in, they're using shady practices. If you go back and watch these videos I'm doing, like literally today's videos are long. Hey, Jeff, Kevin, Keith, Sylvia, Chris, 
Uh, Miko, Amanda, if you go back and listen, there's a couple of distinguishing traits. The first one is they're all computers that call the very first time. The second is, oh, your computer's running or social security scam and stuff like that. These things going on all the time. Now, I have stuff set up for that. Now, if you notice, I can't, they can't call me no more. They, they block me out completely, but they're always new. They're always different. And they do that because they've stolen everybody's information. They're stealing everybody's phone number. They spoof people's phone numbers and stuff like that. And I found out the best way to get them to stop is just never give them any information and show you guys each that these are all scams, okay? And then when the more people that call in to basically make it very clear, eventually their whole network shuts down because they have no more money coming in, okay? The whole idea is they want your information, they want money, they want your credit cards, they want your social security number, they want your birthday, they want your parents' name, they want every single bit of information you can. Now, you notice I told them that I'm 79 years old and they put me right through, Okay? Don't be taken in by these people, all right? Do not get fooled. If you guys need help, if you guys want, you know, I basically, I like I said, our company can help you. Now, with these phone scams, there, there's other things that they're going to get, okay? This is just the stuff I can do live to show you how disingenuous these people are. So my uh, email, or my um, site is idguy.org. If I can put it on there right for you guys, www idguy.org. Hope you all enjoyed the Super Bowl yesterday. Hope you enjoyed the commercials. Um, anyway, have a good one, everybody. I got to get going back to work, and I'll talk to everybody soon.